Now let's join young Sydney Gradle and her mentor, Monica Spaney, president of Accessibility Wisconsin, for Sydney's first deer hunt on the Gradle family property during this year's October Youth Hunt. It's fun. It's my first time hunting. I thought it was nice and breezy and I thought it was cool and it felt relaxing. Monica's really nice because she helps me a lot. I'm working with Sydney as a mentor because I was mentored throughout the years of my hunting experience and this is my way to give back. But the mentoring satisfaction comes from seeing the growth in the youth that I'm working with, going from knowing some basics to going, this is her aha moment. I was excited to go hunting because I really wanted to see a deer and an albino deer because we have an albino that sticks around our house and I like looking at them because they're really pretty. Her parents also support this process. Yes, hunting is a family activity that we all like to enjoy together. I grew up hunting with my father and my brothers and I would like to continue that tradition. Uh, Sydney wanted to become a deer hunter because she has watched me go out hunting in the, in the mornings and the evenings and she's excited when I come home with a, a deer or a turkey because she enjoys eating it. She knows that it's part of the way of life to provide for the family. And I would think that I would be a good hunter someday and that I'd at least get one deer. I hope that she learns out of this whole hunting experience that uh, how important it is for conservation of animals and being ethical in the way you hunt and being responsible and enjoying it. So it's all about being outdoors, enjoying the outdoors, understanding that the outdoors is something precious to all of us. With a mild winter last year and below average harvest in both 2019 and 2020, Wisconsin deer hunters can look forward to increased harvest opportunities around the state this year. Although more deer will be taken on private land, our state's seven million acres of public land offer hunters a wide range of habitat with great hunting possibilities. Here's a forecast for the upcoming gun deer season provided by DNR biologists from around the state. Northern Wisconsin offers a wide range of deer habitat and deer hunting opportunities. The variety of habitat also means that deer numbers vary across the region. Some areas can sustain more deer than others. Public land is abundant, but private land tends to hold more deer per square mile. Last winter was mild across much of the north. Most areas didn't have deep snow all winter long and there were only brief periods of extremely cold weather. The Lake Superior Snowbelt counties did get enough snow to put them in the moderate category, but overall, last winter was a reprieve from the harsher weather of the previous two years. Most of the northern deer management units had an increased buck harvest last season, and most areas had good fawn production this spring. Every deer management unit has some antlerless tags, but some units, especially for public land permits, will sell out prior to the gun season. Severe windstorms in 2019 blew down a lot of mature trees, allowing for thick regrowth of brush, which provides good bedding cover. Acorn production will likely be spotty, so plan to scout prior to hunting to find areas where deer are bedding and feeding. Most of the Northeast District experienced the seventh mild winter in a row and there was strong fawn production throughout the region this year. Deer numbers are high region-wide, but populations vary dramatically from one square mile to the next. Habitat ranges from northern hardwood forests in Oconto and Marinette counties to the flatter agricultural and wetlands complexes of Winnebago, Fond du Lac, and Calumet counties. Overbrowsing of young trees is a problem in the central counties of the district, including Shawano, Outagamie, Wapaka, Washera, Green Lake and Marquette counties, where sustainable forestry and future habitat quality are still a major concern. 
The Northeast is in the second year of intensive CWD testing, and there are several CWD surveillance areas in the district. Hunters are encouraged to submit the heads of adult deer for testing at DNR offices and designated collection sites.